Each one of these outlets is an inch away from each other, and these are still touching. Is that not infuriating? What's up, Slick Dealers? Today we're talking about mobile device chargers, basically giving you a little shopping haul to show you what's available and why more people are gonna be looking for these. There was a recent company decision at Apple that didn't sit well with a lot of folks. That's right. Apple decided for environmental purposes to stop providing charging bricks in the boxes of all future mobile devices. So I'm expected to take this cable and do what with it? Plug it into a potato? I know it's old news at this point, but a lot of critics didn't buy it, arguing that it was just another way for Apple to cut costs and boost overall revenue. So we're stuck paying more for less. Hit that thumbs up button if this news upset you. I know it upset me. Maybe you just wanna rip off my eyebrows. <laughs> Unfortunately, other smartphone brands have followed suit on this move, like Samsung with their Galaxy S21 line. What the heck, Samsung? You guys joked about how dumb it was for Apple to do this, and now you're doing it as well? The measure came just one year after Apple introduced the 18-watt fast charger for iPhone 11, which could charge your phone to 50% in about 30 minutes. But unfortunately for iPhone users, the iPhone 11 line was the last to get this in the box, and now if you want one, you have to buy it separately for $19. Technically, I should add, Apple updated this brick from 18 watts to 20 watts. So this is a 20 watt charger and Apple does make that. You just have to buy it separately for $19. Samsung also makes a 25 watt charge brick, which you also have to purchase separately now. A lot of people still need a phone charger and I know that a lot of people still only use one of these little five watt charging bricks that trickle charges your phone very slowly. I decided to grab some affordable options for you and compare so you can decide whether $19 for Apple's 20 watt charging brick is really your best option. I do have a couple of sidebars here. One, all chargers we have here today are compatible with both iPhone and Android phones. Two, none of these power bricks came with charging cables for phones at the price points that we mentioned. All of them do sell charging cables at their own prices, but I'm assuming that you do have a cable if you're getting a new phone because they come with one. One final note, just to be totally clear, some people may not understand all this wattage stuff, so let me briefly go over that. This charger is five watts. All you need to know is that five watts can't push out enough power to your phone to recharge it at the fastest rate possible. Every device has a charging limit and the iPhone's limit is about 20 watts. So if you want a charger that will charge your phone the fastest, you should look for and get at least a 20 watt charger. If you go over that, the iPhone will take care of you and you don't have to worry about it like burning your phone up or anything like that. Samsung's maximum wattage is 25 watts by comparison, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. This is the 20 watt Apple charger. It retails for $19.99. At the time of shooting, Walmart was selling it for $17.98. It'll fully charge an iPhone 12 Pro in about an hour and 42 minutes, though that speed probably didn't take into account optimized battery charging, which is a relatively new feature in iOS that aims to reduce battery aging by adapting the charge speed of the phone based on your routine. So like when I tried it out, the phone was at 99% at an hour and 42 minutes, but didn't actually finish charging until an hour and 54 minutes. If you want the fastest full charge, you have to turn that feature off under battery in settings. As I mentioned earlier, the Samsung Galaxy S21 offers fast charging at a maximum output of 25 watts, which is just a little bit more power. And interestingly, the S21 line has fast and super fast charging disabled by default. They do this also for battery preservation reasons, so you have to go into settings on your Samsung phone to turn these on. If you have a faster charger already and you're noticing that your phone isn't charging as fast as you would expect it, that's probably why. So next up, we have Samsung's super fast charger. It will allow you to charge your S21 to 50% in 30 minutes like the iPhone, but in an hour, it'll get you up to 95% and the full charge takes a little under an hour and 15 minutes. This retails for $19.99 as well, but we were able to find it on Amazon and at Best Buy for $16. I should note, there are benefits and downsides to getting the name brand charger. The main benefit is that you're gonna get a quality product and you know it's gonna be fully compatible. The downsides though, they're expensive and surprisingly clunky compared to the competition. Competitors are clearly proving that a 20 watt charger does not have to be bulky. Point in fact, Anchor and RAV Power both have created 20 watt chargers with basically the same profile as Apple's very small 
5 watt. These next three chargers that we're looking at are all 20 watts, which means you're gonna see slightly slower charge times for a Samsung phone than what it is fully capable of, but they are top notch for iPhones. Anchor has been marketing their power brick, the Nano, as being the same small profile as the 5 watt Apple charger, but with 20 watt charging speeds. It'll cost you $17 and has an amazing five stars on Amazon with over 36 thousand ratings and most importantly it'll get your iphone to 50 percent in 30 minutes or less just a little bit cheaper for a much more palatable size charger Aki sells this 20 watt charger the minima fast charger for 9.99 it's not quite as small as the nano but it's a fraction of its price and it is also still smaller than apple's version plus it's got some neat little folding action Will it fast charge your phone? Yes. So the Aki Minima is gonna be your cheapest option of the reputable brands that we have available. RAV Power sells the 20 watt PD Pioneer on Amazon in a two pack for 13 bucks. Interestingly, you can't purchase this as a single unit. The most affordable option is to get it in a two pack, but that might be a good idea anyways. For 650, you get two of these bricks instead of one. Pretty solid bang for your buck. Another interesting option for iPhone 12 owners though, Rav Power also offers the PD Pioneer with a MagSafe compatible charging puck for $23.99. That's pretty great when you consider Apple's MagSafe charger costs $39 and doesn't include a power brick, which again is 19 bucks at Apple. So if you want a MagSafe charge with only Apple products, at a bare minimum, you're shelling out 58 bucks on top of the $800 you're gonna be paying for a brand new iPhone 12. One thing to note about this MagSafe puck by RAV Power, the magnets on it are not as strong as Apple's version, so that's just something you might wanna keep in mind. All of these are great chargers, but I would go with the combo set that RAV Power sells for 13 bucks. It gets you two 20 watt bricks, fully capable of fast charging. They take up very little space, and at that price point, you're getting the best deal out of all the chargers at 650 per brick. Now, if you have the Samsung Galaxy S21 phone and you really want that extra power boost, the 25 watt charger for $16 is the best deal that we saw for a super fast charging brick of a reputable source. Do you have any off-brand chargers that have worked like a charm? Post your recommendations in the comments. And if you're still wondering if I'm gonna do more with that potato, I'm not, it's done. It's on the ground and it's not coming back. Save your tears for another day. And please subscribe for more ways to save. I'm Pete King, and if you paid full price, you weren't really trying. You know, I never really learned how to juggle. I'm done.